driven forward by Joan Weston. Maguire looking for assistance. Dunn trying to drop back, spins back behind Weston. Two women talking over the strategy. Shaw breaks out of the pack. Dunn reaches back, there's a whip. Maguire trying to dive away over the top. Dunn moves to the inside. Weston spun around, Maguire scores! The jam called off, one chief point score. New York picking up another one. And the Chiefs pick up a two point lead. Well, it looks like the old Chief team now, a little heads up skating for a change. 30 double point scored. That'll break the tie and the Red Devils will go back into the lead. Coach Ken Bonney arguing with the official down there. Skaters shaking up down at a turn as Sandy Dunn. Red Devils lead by four, 35 to 31. Weston kicking Dunn down at a turn. The official being distracted by Coach Ken Bonney on the infield, unable to see that. Slight conversation, Weston skating away. Dunn being attended to by the trainer. You can definitely see the style of game which Kenny's trying to give this team. It's kind of a wide open game. They're not really doing that much skating. You can see he talks to the referees and then they go up and kick somebody. I mean, that's not really much skating. Down and again, it's Joan Weston on the move for the Red Devils. Weston with that pivot helmet on, number 17, the only scoring threat on the play. New York, unable to get another jammer out in the pack. Orland and McGuire form a double block as Dunn was shaken up on a jam prior to this. She's there as a backup if needed. Again, Jones and Shaw drop back on the assist. Sacco breaks out. Weston coming up off a triple whip. Skidders put apart, Dunn back with a block. Weston taken down. Back up, spinning around. Weston still going. Sacco moving up. Weston moves and calls the playoff. The jam called off, no score. Weston not taking any chances with Sacco flying up there for the Chiefs. Koshu, the only potential scorer on the play. Number 14, Francine Koshu, now in contention. Scoring contention at the rear. Dunn, low elbow block to the outside. Hits him with another one. Stops Koshu. Shoulder block. Koshu, taken back by Dunn. Dumped by McGuire. Koshu back on her skates. Moves to the outside. McGuire back doing the blocking. McGuire and Dunn alternating the blocks into Koshu. McGuire again to the outside, forced back on defense, unable to bring out of the pack. Weston comes back, sidestep by McGuire. Weston taking Koshu down. Weston back up to lead away, a whip, Koshu, a lot of speed, comes into Dunn on balance dump. Time and a jam, about three seconds now. Koshu moves forward, time runs out. No score on the play, no score. And unable to get her teammate through for points. Quick agility by the New York Chiefs. Red Devils continue to lead, however, by four. 35 to the jammer. Breaking out. Red Devils on top. They've got two on the move. Carolyn Moreland getting out for New York on number two to one. McGuire breaking out now. Double block. Moreland put down by Jones and Williams. Again, that double block for to Judy McGuire. McGuire busting it up, trying to run down through the middle. Coming up out of the turn. All three skaters in a dead run out side by side. Jones to the inside, McGuire to the middle, and it's Williams on the outside. Three skaters side by side, neither one able to grab the lead. Jammer's moving into the red of the scoring position now. Moreland down back, McGuire spots low. Red Devil Jammer's taken out, it's McGuire in contention. Weston back with the block, stag in the back. Moreland down back to lead away, power play, McGuire! McGuire cuts it off. Three New York Chief points score. Dunn going up to Weston. This flying up and turn. They're gonna have a lot of penalties up there and they haven't tied the score yet. There goes McGuire. Skeeter's down all over the track. Or three chief points picked up with only a minute remaining here in the period. With a one minute penalty, Sandy Dunn, and a one minute team penalty on the Chiefs. So they're going to field three with less than a minute remaining here in the seventh period. That's going to put the boys in a little bit of trouble. As take over for the eighth and final period. 
Red Devils continue to lead, 35 to 34. Dunn still out there on the track. Two-minute major penalty now on Sandy Dunn. The one thing I've noticed, the women don't generally care once their period is over. It seems how the men go into the eighth and final. You must have an awful lot of confidence in you fellas. Oh, well, I tell you, it makes it a little rough on the boys when we have to start shorthanded like that. Uh, one thing at least she did do, she did bring the score up for us a little bit. We're only trailing by one now. That's the score at the end of the seventh period. The score at the end of the seventh period. The Red Devils 35, the Chiefs 34. The middle take over for the